Citizens of the Reject Nation, how are you lovelies? This is my most long-awaited video and my very first video with Tara. How you doing? Yeah, it's me. It's Tara Erickson. You guys know me. I'm always here. Always here. I'm great. Yet never paired with me. Fueled by Spike and Caffeine and Kept now Koi today. I'm very excited for it. We're watching Goodfellas. Yeah. You, viewers of Reject Nation, leave a comment below because I've not seen a lot of Scorsese and there's a lot I want to dive into and this is one of our longest-awaited videos, so please do leave a comment. Ring the bell! And share this with your friends. We can watch more Scorsese goodness. Also, please check out our full length reaction over at Patreon, where you can sync up with your own copy and watch this verbatim start to finish, beginning to end, including our resting watching faces. I'm just going to be doing this. She's going to vibe time. the whole time. Two and a half hours. She's going to be hey, vibing. Baby. It's going to be great. I'm going to be impressed by the end when she's got a lot of cardio going with the flippers. <laughs> also, please do check out everything else over there because Greg and John have several shows where they exclusively cover and react with full watch alongs included over at Patreon. So become a super sexy reject. Good people. I have somehow gone many years without watching this movie. I have somehow <laughs> gone <too. laughs> many years without teaming up with Tara. This <laughs> is Goodfellas in three, Today's two, the day. Based on a true story. I'll be Googling. Okay. I'll be oh, curious. yeah. We are now further from when this was set to when it was filmed than <laughs> this. <laughs> Jimmy, did I hit something? Is there flat? Hit flat? Uh, <laughs> I'm only going to say it once. That is such young De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, snap. That'll do it. Oh, it's gonna be like that. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Ah, cool. I've heard that line. This is great. Okay. Oh my god, I love it. So the music? Give yeah. me a break. This is great. I wonder how many things are going to be like, oh, right, uh, that's like, from Goodfellas. It's like the whole know, movie. I'm right? like, oh, I've heard that. We've been missing out all of our lives. <sighs> this is one of the most like college poster movies ever, and I'm so curious how much it's influenced so much of what I love. Oh, look at that shot. It's awesome. Being a gangster was better than being president of the United States. Tony Cicero he ran the cab stand in La Bella Vista Pizzeria for his brother Paul, who was the boss over everybody in the neighborhood. Paulie might have moved slow. Paulie didn't have to move for anybody. <laughs> My father, who was Irish, was sent to work at the age of 11. He always used to say that American kids were spoiled lazy. That's great, young Ray Liotta casting. Yeah, he looks a lot like him. I was the luckiest kid in the world. I could go anywhere. I could do anything. I knew everybody, and everybody knew me. Man, I want to be a gangster. <laughs> Scorsese is painting a very pretty picture. Yeah. Hey, look, Henry, tell him 519. Every day I was learning to score. A dollar here, a dollar there. I was living in a fantasy. Logan Lerman energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a letter from school. It says you haven't been there in months. In months! Oh, shit. But after a while, he was mostly pissed because I hung around the cab stand. But by then, I didn't care. Everybody takes a beating sometime. Huh. What do you mean you can't make any more deliveries? You're going to f*** everything up. My dad said he's going to kill me. Look. Come on with me. Ha 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 Uh-oh. Move. Come on. From now on, any letter from that school to that kid's house comes directly here. You oh, understand? I love it. Letter from that school goes to that kid's house in the... And open, you're gonna go ahead first. That was it. <laughs> Jewish officers, no more letters from school. In fact, no more letters from anybody. Finally, after a couple of weeks, my mother had to go to the post office and complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this just like makes me want gangsters to like have my back. <laughs> I think it'll turn poorly. <laughs> it'll for turn him. bad soon, I'm sure. There were guys. That's all they did all day long was take care of Paulie's phone calls. <laughs> I miss film so much. It's so pretty. Yeah. And the freeze frame edits with the grain. Oh, yeah. I mean, like the texture of it is just really like enjoying. it feels really, I don't know, like palpable. Yeah. I was making more money than most of the grownups in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. I mean, I had more money than I could spend. Oh, this is going to look insane. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Oh. Practical effects. Yeah. 
That was the first time I'd ever seen anyone shot. Damn, I can't have that in this joint. I knew Paulie didn't want anybody dying in the building. You're a real jerk. You wasted eight fucking aprons on this guy. <laughs> oh my God, I love this soundtrack. It was before Appalachian and before Crazy Joe decided to take on a boss and start a war. It was when I met the world. It was when I first met Jimmy Conway. That was an awesome tracking shot. This is cool. He'd give the doorman a hundred just for opening the door. He'd shove hundreds in the pockets of the dealers and all the guys that ran the games. I mean, the bartender got a hundred just for keeping the ice cubes cold. Jimmy was one of the most feared guys in the city. What he really loved to do was steal, and almost all of them were gimmies. I mean, they just gave it up, no problem. They called him Jimmy the Gen. I wonder if Jim and the town is a reference. Oh. Modern Boston gangster movie and reference. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's all right. That's why, well, you got permission from your mother? How many cottons you need? What? Where'd you get those cigarettes? Get him out of here. Right. Get him out of here. No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Oh, snap. <laughs> People of the state of New York versus Henry Hill. Counselor Proceed. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's your graduation. <laughs> Did it right. You told them nothing and they got nothing. You never ride on your friends and always keep your mouth shut. Oh, you broke your cherry. <laughs> <laughs> never ride on your friends and always keep, keep your, mouth your mouth shut. shut. It's not good in our business. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Do the first one. The second one's a little harder. By the time I grew up, there was $30 billion a year in cargo moving through Idlewild Airport. We tried to steal every bit of it. Whenever we needed money, we'd rob the airport. <laughs> oh, man. Whole truck. There was Jimmy and Tommy and me, and there was Anthony Stabile. How you doing? Frankie Carbone. Hey, how are you? How are Nicky Eyes. What's up, guy? And Mikey Franchese. I saw that guy. Yeah, I want to see him. And Jimmy Two Times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like... I'm going to go get the papers, get the papers. Uh, what a cool POV tracking shot. So good. Like, and a great way to intro all of them. To set the world again as an adult. Piece of cake. It's all there. Don't worry about the alarms. Just got to find a way to get the key. No problem, right? Oh, Let me get you. I'll take care of it. These kinetic scenes yeah, are this, crazy. Like, whoa, you're like, you really feel like you're like moving with them quickly. <laughs> they pull me in, they start giving me all kinds of questions. So what are you going to tell us, tough guy? I said, my usual, zero, nothing. <laughs> I tell you. I said, all right, I'll tell you something. Go f*** your mother. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wish I was big just once. <laughs> 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 really funny. <laughs> really funny. <laughs> what do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> What do you mean? You mean the way I talk? What? You're just funny. It's, <laughs> you know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Get the fuck out of here, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had him. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, stuttering prick yeah. The silence in between that was, that was so deafening. Great. Oh my god. Sometimes, Henry, you may fold under questioning. Intimidating. I never Holy junk. I've seen like my cousin Vinny and Lethal Weapon. I've never seen right. like that side or, like, of Joe Pesci. Like Home Pesci. Alone yeah. makes me think of like yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I thought it was getting pinched on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know the money we spend on this. About? Come on, don't be like that. What do you mean don't be like that? Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh my god, Ray's laugh. It's like a snarl. Oh my god. What the f are you looking at? <laughs> You're supposed to be doing this stuff too, you know? <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to laugh? This prick last week asked me to christen his kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went for 7,000 my charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's such a great scene. Tell him he'll so he'll stop. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna wind up being declared an MIA. They're gonna find me in the back of a car somewhere in the weeds. I mean, when I leave my house in the morning, before I get to the car, I'm looking over both shoulders. This is no way to live. All the clothes in this are great. Yeah. I want everyone's outfits. Yeah. You want me to be your partner? Yeah, the joint is over. Oh, you run the joint. Maybe I'll, I'll try to help you, all right? Any problems, he goes to Paulie. The cops, deliveries, Tommy, he can call Paulie. 
Oh, that's an awesome <laughs> shot. <laughs> I like that. On the bills on the joint's credit. Nobody's going to pay for it anyway. And as soon <laughs> as the deliveries are made in the front door, you move this stuff out the back and sell it at a discount. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and then finally, when there's nothing left, in shame. When you can't borrow another buck from the bank or buy another case of booze, you bust the joint out. You light a match. Oh. oh. She don't want to go out with Italians alone. She's prejudiced against Italians. Unless her girlfriend comes with us. So I figure you come along and go out with her girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night. I can't tomorrow night. I got to meet Tootie. Asking you for a favor. I do a lot of favors for you, don't I? I'm trying to bang this broad. You want to help me out? <laughs> I had a meeting with Tuddy around 11 o'clock, and here I am, a backup guy for Tommy. Have some coffee, it'll wake you up. Got that thing, I gotta go. I couldn't stand him. Oh, another voice ah. Before it was even time to go home, he was pushing me into the car and then pulling me out. Promised to meet them again on Friday huh. night. Friday oh. night came around. Oh my God. Stood me up. <laughs> Terrible. We were a trio instead of a double date that you know, night. You would have called him. I hope it's nothing serious. That's what I'm worried about. I'm <laughs> That's just amazing at this. That's so good. Oh, uh, gonna hear it now. You got some nerve standing me up. Get it, girl. <laughs> Frankie Valley or some kind of big shot? <laughs> oh, now he's gonna leg her. You know, I thought you were gonna stand me up. You look bored. You didn't say anything. What do you expect? Huh? Let me make it up to you. Karen. I'll think of it. <laughs> uh. Hello, Henry. Oh, no, wait a minute. What? Quick, you have to cover that cross. My mother sees that cross. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do? Hi, nice to meet you. My daughter says that uh, you're half Jewish. It's just the good half. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks. What are you doing? You're leaving your car? Copacabana. It's easier than leaving it out of the garage and waiting. I like going this way. It's better than waiting in line. If you dated a gangster, you would feel so special. Oh, I mean, immediately. Like, oh my God. Your life's everything always is risk, just like, but everything's great. <laughs> but everything is great. It's efficient. You might die tomorrow, but today but is that really day? good. Hey, there we go. How are you? Good, good. Just walk into the Copa, have someone take your car. Yeah. I love that confrontation is what got him interested. I love that like she stood up and then yeah. now he's like now he's it trying was to like, win her. Oh, yeah. he's in now. It's great. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Whoa. Okay. I can't imagine doing a tracking shot with a film camera. I keep thinking about, right? how, difficult right? film camera. Keep thinking about right? how difficult this would, would physically be the in a hardest. kitchen, especially with like focus and, and just the like timing of all the extras. All of it. Yeah. I mean, one mess up and you're like, we got to go back. And, and waste a, a roll of film. Yeah. And then the edits have all been so seamless. Whoever edited this is a genius. And yeah. the lighting's really useful. Like, I love how it's always offsides. Anthony, and like half right in the front. Great, great. Yeah. Thanks. Anything you need, Henry, just let me know. And it's still going. Yeah, this <laughs> is still a like, this is... Incredible. And yeah, look at how small the passageways are. Yeah. Tony, thanks a lot. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, how are you guys doing? How are you? Like how he's become De Niro and we're seeing like those same. Yeah. And they move a table in for him. Like it's amazing. This is what Mr. Tony over there. Where? Over there. Oh, thanks a lot, Tony. Still a wonder. Still going. Amazing. What do you do? What? What do you do? I'm in construction. Uh -huh. I don't feel like you're in construction. No, I'm a union delegate. Penny Youngman. Oh my God! Is it still yeah. freaking going? This is insane. They like held it and now. Wow. How are you all? I'm glad to be here. Take my wife, please. <laughs> I take my wife everywhere, but she finds her way home. That wow. whole Copa scene was one. Bravo. Beautiful work. This guy Scorsese is going places. Yeah. <laughs> Air France made me. We walked out with four hundred and twenty thousand dollars without using a gun. Hi. How you doing? Okay, Bruce, how are you? Okay. Henry, this is Bruce. Do you know him? Yeah. He lives across the street. Huh. He's so great at his body language, and we just know he's, like, completely bugged and awkward. And yeah. feels weird with and, that guy. And plotting and playing. Yes. Don't buy wigs that come. 
come off at the wrong time. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. I never had to pay the vigorous debt he demands. Am I something special? Jimmy, you borrowed his money. Pay him. Mark, don't call the cops. You're talking crazy. Stop it now, will you? He's got money for that. Oh, shit. Yep. Karis, slow down. Get the money. Stay there. Don't move. This guy who lives across the street. He started to touch me. He started to grab me. He didn't stop. I hit him back. Oh, well, that guy's that gonna guy's be dead in painfully. ten minutes. Yep. I mean, his instincts were right. Yeah. Don't you go inside and get yourself together. We'll clean up. Go. Huh. You want some? Huh? Oh! Hey, oh! Oh. If you touch her again, you're dead! Oh. Don't shoot! Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Broad daylight pistol whip. That was painful to watch. <sighs> I know there are women like my best friends who would have gotten out of there the minute their boyfriend gave them a gun to hide. But I didn't. I guess the first extreme close-up or slow-mo we've seen. We've had freeze frames. Yeah. Like, that was really, like, emotionally charged. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like blood on her hands. Yeah, li a that literal. choice, right? Yeah. And then the jump cuts a wedding. Like, it's the pacing of this is so smart. It moves. Yeah. Slow pan oh with that lady narrating. The <laughs> <laughs> it's um, not a wedding without her. God, it's really not. <laughs> Paulie and his brothers had lots of sons and nephews, and almost all of them were named Peter or Paul. There must have been two dozen Peters and Pauls at the wedding. Plus, they were all married to girls named Marie. <laughs> and they named all their daughters Marie. How do you call out to people in a house like that? Hope. Welcome to the family, honey. Sunday dinner. Oh my so god, amazing. <laughs> Stacks of tribute. I wanna be a gangster. <laughs> well, we're still in the first act. I Things know. are gonna go awry. <laughs> For now. <laughs> it's a great life. Yeah. The bag with all the envelopes and all the money. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Nobody's gonna steal that here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's like Wolf of Wall Street where it ends like, do you think Jordan Belfort's a bad person? Right. <laughs> Do you True. just like money? <laughs> right. Scorsese morality is always really interesting to me. Oh, yeah. Because if you look at his movies, it's always like, how do you feel about the choices your protagonist makes? Yeah. So I could go either way with this. And it's like challenging you to make a, to choose a side. A kind judgment of. call on these people's choices. Yeah. Henry, where were you? Why didn't you call? Where have you been? Uh, we were worried to death. A married man does not stay out like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that laugh. Normal. She's right. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my God. What would happen if you had to go to prison? Mickey said that Jeannie's husband. <laughs> you know why Jeannie's husband went to the can? Because of Jeannie, because he wanted to get away from her. <laughs> oh. I'm Detective DC. This is Detective Silvestri. Let's get a search warrant here for the premise. Did you read and sign it? Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere. It's gonna take a while. We gotta go through everything, all right? Oh, girl, you're gonna get in trouble for that, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Or she knows everything's fine. She's in. Right. And there was always a little harassment. They always wanted to talk to Henry about this or that. They'd come in with their subpoenas and warrants and make me sign. Oh, okay, she already knows. Right. <laughs> Got it. I think she's been made at this point. Okay. We always went together. No outsiders ever. It got to where I was even proud that I had the kind of husband who was willing to go out and risk his neck just to get us the little extras. It's funny. She must feel so safe, yet everything they're doing is so dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's so insular. Like you <laughs> yeah. Just, that's life. I gotta go. Wait a minute. I wanted to go shopping. Can I get some money? How much do you need? <laughs> oh my god money by inches oh i love that <laughs> uh oh all right <laughs> uh, oh, i love that tall and handsome rich oh, and strong still all, right. all great 
great to be a gangster, but we got a new date. So I'm yeah, concerned okay. something's about to something's, happen. Something's brewing. I just remembered it's based on a true story. So something's about to happen. Something. Go getting too big on me Just now. Don't go busting my balls, Billy, okay? Break your balls. I tell you to go home and get your shine box. <laughs> huh. I don't shine shoes anymore. I haven't seen you in a long time, and I'm breaking your balls. Sorry, I don't mean right. to offend you. I'm sorry, too. It's okay, no problem. Okay. I'll go home and get your f***ing shine box. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. No, I didn't insult nobody. Give us a drink. Give us a drink. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Time to choose to remain blind. Let us rejoice. I did my. Oh, yep. I got a mouth to feed. Oh. I think he's gonna last through that. Oh! My think in my shoes. No clue's gonna be looking for him. And just dump him on the street. Don't worry, I know a place up safe. I'll never find him. Come on, let's get some more table books. I don't want to get blood on your floor. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll pick up a shovel at my mother's house. Just keep quiet. I don't want to wake her up, man. Oh, yeah, look who's here. Look who's here. Hey, well. Our favorite from the wedding. Mm. Oh, I'll make go, to sleep. go to sleep. Go to sleep. No, I can't sleep. Not while right he's right home. No, I haven't seen him so long. No. I want to see him. So you just go oh, inside. Oh, oh, my God. Anyway, you know what reminds me? I need this knife. I'm going to take this. It's okay? Well, the poor thing, you know, we got... I hit him and his... Uh, we hit the deer and his paw. What do you call it? The paw. The paw. <laughs> the paw. Oh, Ma, it's a sin. You're gonna leave it there, you know. So anyway, I'll, I'll bring your knife back if. <laughs> and you get yourself a nice girl. I get, get your... a nice one almost every night, Ma. Yeah, but <laughs> get yourself a girl so you could settle down. So I, I settle down almost every night, but then in the morning I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh. And we're about to get to the beginning. Now, now, yeah, and we're back. <laughs> and we're here. Okay. Tommy had killed a main guy. That was part of the Gambino crew and was considered untouchable. You had to have a sit down and you better get an okay uh, or you'd be the one who got whacked. They did not do that. Saturday night was for wives, but Friday night at the Copa was always for the girlfriends. Huh. Like that Swedish girl? In other words, you condone that stuff. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, Andrew. I know, I know. I just want to make sure I don't wind up kissing uh, that King Cole away. No. Oh. I understand what you said. You know, the guy's talented. Leave it at that. He's very talented. You don't see her, my heart. You don't see her. This tone shift is like such a. It's so ominous. There's like, like a heaviness yeah. suddenly. Like, you know, things are about to get horrible. Sk- yeah. Things they're saying are a little bit more aggressive, and the music is sad. Like it's, yes, it's really more interesting. More aggressive with the t- the tone, absolutely. That one line, I was like, oh, okay. yeah. That and was, now it's that's why I was like, huh, um, okay. The joy's gone in being a gangster. Yeah, yeah. What do you hear about that thing? What thing? That Brooklyn thing? No, no, the guy from downtown. The guy who disappeared up the block from Christie. The one they made the beef on. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. He came into the joint that one night, and then he just disappeared. Oh, God. The sound design is so good in these panning shots where you get conversations. It's like in real life when you hear a, yeah, a crowded like room. Yeah, like as if you were walking by, yeah, right? Like, the mix like you're is, right there. Totally. It's really cool. Yeah, we got to get out of there. They just sold the property and they want to make it into condominiums. Jimmy, it's been six months. I don't care how long it's been. We got to get it out of there right away. Oh, oh God. That light is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like setting the tone of. Oh. Shh. Oh, wait, hey, Henry, Henry. Here's an arm. Very funny, guys. It's a wing. <laughs> oh, what do you like? The leg of the wing, Henry. Are you still going for the old hearts and lungs? <laughs> oh. Oh. I set up Janice in an apartment around the corner from the suite. That way I was able to stay over. Oh. Huh. Karen was home with the kids, and she never asked any questions anyway. Wow. It's like Roma. This is from Siam. Hey, it's, uh, oh, her name escapes me. She's oh, fantastic. Her. Yeah. Yes, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hey, Spider, on your way over here, bring me a cutting water, huh? Okay. <laughs> what am I, a mirage? I just asked you for a drink. I thought I heard someone say something. Spider, Spider, I spider, thought spider. I thought it was Henry. I thought, I thought I am. Um, I thought, you said... you've been doing this all <laughs> night. Ha <laughs> ha. Dance the drink back here. Hello, prick. Hey, what's that movie that bogged on me? Which one? The one where he played a cowboy. Only the one. Uh, the, the Oklahoma Kid. Shane? Oklahoma Kid. Shane. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. 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 Dude, what is? All right, so he got shot in the foot. What is it? A big fucking deal? Vito, Vito, get a towel. Fuck. Take your doctor down the street. Break. You're not going out tonight. Not without your car keys, you're not. Are you nuts? I'm telling you, I look in your face and I know that you're lying! Ooh. Get out! Shut up. Get out! Get out of my life! You f*** ahead. Go to your ready-made That's all you're good for! I can't stand you! The intentionally uh, not, like, meeting his kids, like, how, like, they're not even... Yeah. yeah. They're props in his life, and we've, like, seen them in cutaways. Don't you lie to me! Give us a, a couple of... Tell the truth, you're looking for sympathy. Is that it, sweetie? But it's the same narrative. It's really interesting. Like, he, it's just tone. Like, it's a mastery of tone. Yeah. <laughs> They're still laughing. They're still joyous, but like, oof. You can still feel like this shift. Yeah. I'm going to let him get away with that. You let this punk get away with that? What's the matter? What's the world coming to? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Yo, you shoot the guy? He's dead. Now you're gonna dig the thing up. You're gonna dig the hole. You're gonna do it. I got no lime. You're gonna. Yes, I'll dig the hole. I don't give a. So funny. It's established. Don't bust his balls because he buried a dead body because of that specific reason. But he got away with it, so now he's like. Yeah, and now he's just. And he's already been a sociopath from the jump. Don't hang up on me. I want to talk to you. Oh God. You keep away from my husband. You hear me? Open the door. Ooh. But still, I couldn't hurt him. No matter how bad I felt, I was still very attracted to him. You know I love you, don't you? <laughs> oh, yep. How does it feel? Huh? Huh? How does it feel, Karen? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> not good to be a gangster. No, not anymore. I've decided. Yep. <laughs> Quite a tone shift. <sighs> You gotta take it easy. You got children. I'm not saying you gotta go back there this minute. I got the two of them coming over the house every day, commiserating the two of them. I can't have it. You have to do the right thing. You have to go home to the family. You understand? Saw blooper in Goodfellas. It was a star, of David. Now it's a cross. <laughs> you gonna pay it? <laughs> pay it? Just give us the fucking money, huh? I can't. Let's go. Are they gonna feed him to something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh. No! I ain't going there any lines, Jimmy! <laughs> they must really feed each other to the lions down there because the guy gave the money right up. <laughs> oh. When we got home, we were all over the newspaper and found out that the guy we roughed up turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. Of all the f***ing people, she gave up everybody. <laughs> oh the jury six hours to bring us in guilty judge gave jimmy and me 10 years like he was giving away candy years in a federal penitentiary oh i wonder if it's gonna catch up to modern day yeah like the 90 that's... yeah now take me to jail holy <laughs> 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 did the prep work he was doing a year <laughs> tenth, and he had this wonderful system for doing the garlic <laughs> oh my god <laughs> And he used to slice it so thin that it used to liquefy in the pan with just a little oil. Oh, wow. Amazing. Vinny was in charge of the tomato sauce. Wow, got the smoke. You'd way better than I do. When you think of prison, <laughs> you get pictures okay. in your mind of all those old movies with rows and rows of guys behind bars. Oh my God. Except that I miss Jimmy. He was doing his time in Atlanta. Vinny, give me two steaks while you're in there, all right? <laughs> 
Tomorrow we eat sandwiches. You gotta go on a diet, buddy. Believe me. It's crazy how much this fashion's back. Like those Adidas, yeah, the like Adidas the track is, suit is now all is like, like hip. Yeah. And a lot of the knitted polos and everything, this is all like current fashion again. Yeah, oh yeah. Did he turn into a druggie? He may have. Okay, yeah. A little, little bit of stress he's coming out of him. Those, yeah. Okay, I'll catch you next week. Thanks. Uh, oh, just no, he's dealing. dealing. Yeah, okay. That's Good move. <laughs> Each painting shot gets like darker and more depraved like it was joy and then a wedding <laughs> yeah. and then it's sad and, and now, now it's pr just prison Jesus. and almost feels like chapters like that's yeah, like, opening, like chapters of, of a yeah where it would just be prison yeah. chapter 38 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh god she sees her name this is not good where am i i'm in jail i can't stop people from coming to see me good. let us sneak this stuff in for you every week <laughs> Aww. All I need for you is to keep bringing me the stuff. I got a guy in here from Pittsburgh who's gonna help me move it. Holy finds out. What I just say, don't worry about him. We've gotta help each other. We just gotta listen. Most people are running is ominous. Wow. Is it her picking him up? Or is it Joe? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Best case scenario. Thank you. Are you here to stay? Wow, look where they're living. Oh, wow. What a change. Karen, get packed. We're moving out of here. I don't want any more of that shit. What are you talking about? Just stay away from the garbage, you know what I mean? I want to talk to you about Jimmy. You got to watch out for him. And you see anybody f***ing around with this shit, you're going to tell me, right? Polly's the only smart one. Mm-hmm. Smart. That's why he's at the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Started using Sandy's place to mix the stuff, and even with Sandy snorting more than she mixed, I made $12,000 in my second week. Within a couple of weeks, it got to be so big, I needed some help. So I got Jimmy and Tommy to come in with me. Hey, it's uh, Jigsaw from the Saw movies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but way young. Uh, uh. And this we just had to have made special. Go ahead, sit in it, Belle. The others you couldn't even sit in. Watch the wall with the rock. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. That's great. It's funny when they got all the money in the beginning, he was like, and we gave Polly our cut. Yeah. And now they're doing he's it. Hiding. They're not gonna I've been bleeding for this caper, been cultivating this son of a bitch for two years. And these are the guys that Jimmy put together for what turned out to be the biggest heist in American history. The Lufthansa heist. Even Stax Edwards got in on it. Oh Sam Jackson. Oh my god. What he was supposed to do was steal the panel truck and afterwards compact it by a friend of ours out in Jersey. I did not know he was in this. Me neither. Had everybody working oh. for me. Even our old babysitter, Lois Bird. And it's worth it, isn't it? Is this the same baby you used? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? Come on. Come on. It's interesting the earlier scene was celebratory for that exact situation, but it yes. held, and that was like a slow zoom in. Uh, kind of, like yeah. In, making it like ominous. From the scene of the heist at JFK, it looks like a big one, maybe the biggest this town has ever oh, seen. Stay tuned. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jimmy, hey, come here. I want to show you something. Jimmy, come here. Is this she gorgeous? Oh. I bought it for my wife. It's you can't be showing off the money. I have to go buy anything for a while. Yeah, but fucking calm. It's a wedding gift, Jimmy. It's from my mother. It's under her name. Oh. What are you getting excited for? What am I getting excited about? Because you're going to get us all pinched. That's why. What are you, stupid? Oh, I can't believe this. Are you stupid or what? Excuse me. For coat. Yeah, I mean, it's just everybody is messing up left and right. Look at all those jewels. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Lufthansa should have been our ultimate score. The heist of a lifetime. Six million in cash. Wow. It's 11.30. You're supposed to be here. You know, we're supposed to be there by 9. Yeah, you're always late. You're late for your own funeral. Ooh. And that's why we didn't know Samuel L. Jackson was in this movie. <laughs> couple scenes, couple lines. Uh, yep. Instead of getting rid of the truck like he was supposed to, he got stoned. By the time he woke up, the cops had found the truck. Guess what? 
You're gonna make him. Open up the books. Or you got the okay. You're gonna work for this guy one day. He's gonna be a boss. <laughs> Definitely gonna be their downfall. Yeah. Boy, you're gonna get your money. You just gotta stop busting balls. Oh, Henry boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Oh, Bobby. Come here. Thanks, sir. Don't. You're right. You're right. Hmm. I could see for the first time that Jimmy was a nervous wreck. I was wondering why that edit went that way. Yeah. I think Maury tells his wife everything. That's when I knew Jimmy was going to whack Maury. I knew I still had till later 9 o'clock to talk Jimmy out of killing Maury. Mm. Poor bastard. I never knew how close he'd come to getting killed. Even if I told him, he would have never believed me. Wow. So we'll go to Dine over there on the boulevard. Oh, good. Let's switch Dine. Let's rock with Boulevard. Oh, for 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. They got yeah, Danish there? Yeah, they got everything. Real good. Yeah, let's pick up some Danish for Bell. Take a couple of Oh, this is car good. I don't like this shot. I'm like, yeah. There's so much tension, Welcome right? Back. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Ooh, whoa. Oh. Frank, let's chop them up. All right. Where you going? Where you going, you <sighs> dizzy mother? You. Come on. Let's chop them up. <sighs> He's Come missing. On. I know something he's happened. He's probably drunk and fell asleep somewhere. I go looking for him in, in the morning. In 27 okay? years, he's never been away all night without calling. I know something's happened. No, I, I know you. See, now it's like this handheld, Super shaky, intense, like, like things oh, aren't we're controlled. Fucked. Yeah. yeah. Boy. Oh, God. They're just taking everybody out. Still has the sails oh. on it. Man, that's dark. Uh. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I gave Jimmy the tip and he gave me some Christmas hold, money. Hold, hold it up, man. From then on, I kept my mouth shut. Damn. Months after the robbery, they were finding bodies all over. Oh. Damn. When they found Carbone in the meat truck, he was frozen so stiff it took them two days to thaw him out for the autopsy. Mm. The thing that made Jimmy so happy that morning was that this was the day that Tommy was being made. Ma, all right. Oh, here I am. Do we think he makes it to the ceremony? <laughs> I don't know. Tommy being made was like we were all being made. We would now have one of our own as a member. Oh, no. Oh, shh. Oof. Okay. No, we had a problem. I mean, uh, we tried to do everything we could. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. He's gone. And we couldn't do nothing about it. Oh. I had to drop off some guns at Jimmy's to match some silencers he had gotten. I had to pick up my brother at the hospital and drive him back to the house for dinner that night. And then I had to pick up some new Pittsburgh stuff for Lois to fly down to some customers I had near Atlanta. Yeah, he looks... Uh, he looks wrecked. When I finally got there at the hospital to pick up Michael, his doctor wanted to put me in bed. He looks he's so young. I told him about the accident, and I said I was partying all night. No, I'm fine, Doc. Come on, get over here. <laughs> there it is. See that Michael? See that helicopter? See right there? Right in front of us there. Man, it's so tense. Yeah. And if they are following him, he's leading him to all of the people. Or he's just paranoid either yeah, way. He's fucking right. Out. Now that he's on coke. I was cooking dinner that night. Now, my plan was to start the dinner early so Karen and I could unload the guns that Jimmy didn't want and then get the package for Lois to take to Atlanta for her trip later that Lois night. The handheld plus the editing increasing yeah, is so much. Yeah, it's just like, oh my God. No, this not, is not, just not. chaos. It's only 12.30. I know. I'm like, it's so early and I feel so tense. Like. 
Beautiful, beautiful. They're great, great. Now, didn't I tell you you were paranoid? Karen, didn't I tell me you was paranoid? Yeah. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, she wasn't smoking before, and now she's, okay. Make sure you leave the house when you make the call. Jesus, you must think I'm dumb. What are you bugging me for? I know what to do. So what does she do after she hangs up with me? She picks up the phone and calls yeah. from the house. Uh -huh. Oh. As soon as I got home, I started cooking. I told my brother to keep an eye on the stove. All day long, the poor guy's been watching helicopters and tomato sauce. Uh. It's crazy the structure was like the joy of gangster. The second act was like the violent negative, and the third act is just tension and it, like... Yeah, and like a downward... The stairwell, like yeah. a s spiraling downwards, just in. But not as fast as the second act. Not it's just as like fast. Agonizing. One, if this is one day, mm -hmm. oh God, no. Do you understand what we're involved in here? I don't care. I need my hat. I what could her. I do? If she insisted, what? I had to drive her home for her goddamn hat. In there. Threw I the package in the kitchen, her. and I went to take her home. It is so late, isn't it? Like 9 p.m. It must like, be. Like, oh my. When when does dinner happen? <laughs> like. Oh. oh. I'll blow your brains out. Shut the car off slowly. Oh. I knew they were cops. Only cops talk that way. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you better dump it down the toilet or yeah, something, quick. man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I spoke to Jimmy. He offered to give me some money. Hey, I told you I gotta get out of here and straighten out everything with Paulie or else I'm dead, Karen. I feel like you're already dead, buddy. Yeah. You didn't listen to him. Karen finally got her mother to put her house up for my bail oh and my I was out. Goodness. Jimmy knew if Paulie found out he was in the drug deals with me, Paulie would have Jimmy whacked even before me. This is the bad time. <laughs> this is... You treat me like a jerk. Like I was never nothing to you. I really, really need your help. Take this. 3200 bucks for a lifetime. He doesn't know I came down here to see you. You know, it's like he's crazy. So I got some beautiful Dior dresses. You want to have them? Okay. That sound of the train and the wind. What yeah. is... What is... Over here? Right down here. I've been so tense for so long. Put the box over. Lock the window. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, go ahead. It's right in there. Mm. Oh, I've heard you on a telephone. You're talking about cocaine. Conversation after conversation, you're talking to Henry on the phone. Back. I mean, what goes on? Uh. Mr. Hill, do you also know a man by the name of Paul Cicero? Yes. Do you see him here in the courtroom today? Yes. Your Honor, let the record reflect that Mr. Hill has identified the defendant, Paul Cicero. I would go out and rob some more. We ran everything. We paid off cops. We paid off lawyers. POV is interesting. After I got here, I ordered some spaghetti with marinara sauce, and I got egg noodles and ketchup. I'm an average nobody. Ha. Huh. God, his probation's been clean. Ha. <laughs> uh, two years later. Wow. Huh. Hmm. Wow. Holy. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't know that he was in Whitbread. Like, I'm so glad because the stakes would have been. Would have. I thought he was going to die for I like an hour. I thought he was absolutely going to be dead zo and i kept wondering how the voiceover worked if we didn't have the fact because have... like it's like how they know that yeah yeah like oh yeah i don't want to be a gangster no, anymore only for the first 45 minutes oh my god holy holy junk like <laughs> yeah uh yeah, it's just, it's like taking a minute because this is like a masterpiece of a film and like in regards to cinema and how they did it and just that this is back in the day, like you were saying, like film, all of yeah. these like 
shots and the way that it pulls you in, but also matching the mood with the way the camera moves when it switches to handheld. And we know like we are in the S H I T now, um, really brings up the stakes with just that without the words. Yeah. But, Oh man, at the end of just him saying like, I still love the life yeah. and the very end line of just like, now I got to live here like a schmuck, like with, there's no, there's nothing going on. There's no energy. Yeah. And it, it still, it kind of takes you back and makes you, th- makes you think like, Oh man. Yeah. Like he's just living like all the rest of us, you know, I mean, not all the rest of us, but people who are just like, in life. a home with a life and a family. Yeah. And he is, he's still alive, but he's not really going to be as grateful that he is still alive. I wonder if he's dead at this point. He like, now I'm going to do some Googling because that's what, like 30 years? Like, yeah. There's no way that dude there's made it to no 90. There's no way. Or whatever he'd be. God, no. He's he's like, it's uh, my assumption, he lives two years of suburban life and he puts a gun to his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think they would have known. 88 was was the last recorded thing, and then they filmed this in 90. Or this right. came out in 90, so they probably had up until 89. So I'm just curious, like, what, you know, his five or seven years was like oh, as a suburban God. dad. I don't even know. I have to take the... I wear tissues in my ears because the sound is too loud, but now <laughs> I have to take them out. I, uh, I mean, the movie's legendary for a reason. Uh, Scorsese is known as, like, this gangster director, and, like, there's a reason that's a masterpiece. That was such a... An incredible uh, masterclass in tone. I I honestly think like one of my biggest issues with Wolf of Wall Street is it feel. And honestly, it's interesting watching this after I've seen Wolf of Wall Street is Wolf of Wall Street now feels like a a spiritual sequel to this. (laughs) And Wolf of Wall Street, like the the last monologue, like at camera, his walking towards camera, breaking the fourth wall, the three X structure, like and the the suits, uh, Mm -hmm. 2000 suits versus 80 suits and 70s. Like the the Wolf of Wall Street definitely feels like the follow up to this to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, And even in some points like Ray Liotta's performance mirroring uh, Leo's and, and certain elements. But what's interesting to me is the filmmaking in Wolf of Wall Street is more ambivalent towards antagonism. Like the the problem I have with Jordan Belfort is he does all this horrible stuff and there's people that see him as a protagonist. Yes. And I think that's not as nuanced as the the tech bros would prefer it to be. Mm-hmm. I, I think there's a lot of people that genuinely think like, well, as long as you, you know, greed is good. The, the, the old Wall Street adage. I love that this to me was more successful at making it clear that he is the bad guy and you're still invested in him. You're still very much captivated by him, even as it ends, like his hell is being suburban. But at no point, like even when things were good, I was like, I'm not a gangster. Like I wouldn't want that life. And his whole thing was like, I had everything that's hell in its own way. Like as now Mm -hmm. like having nothing, even if it's just normal day to day life, that's nothing to him. Nothing. Whereas the Jordan Belfort story is very much like, he kind of got away with it. Like, yeah. and, and like that, I think that's the commentary on like the American dream now. Like this was made in the nineties in American exceptionalism. There was this, this idea of like excess success. Yeah. And now I do think there's been a, an end of the American dream. I do think the idea of buying a house and the white picket fence and the two and a half kids is kind of dead. Yeah. And so it's interesting to me as, as someone who studies art in the, in like an anthropological way, was that conscious of Scorsese to make a movie that's like, yeah, the American dream, you can be a bad guy now. Yeah. Because this was clear and then the sequel to me wasn't. Right. So now now that I've seen both, I'm wondering if, his, if Scorsese's message, I literally never thought Wolf of Wall Street was the masterpiece other people thought it was because I thought it was um, tonally in disrepair. Now that I've seen this, I'm wondering You're if like, Scorsese was very intentionally like, hey, we, we, we failed. Like, yeah. cause, and cause to me, this was like a successful version of, of what I wanted of Wolf Wall Street to be. What you wanted it to be. So now I feel like it was intentional. So it, this elevates both movies to me. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's, it's funny. Like with his, um, with his character and the ending for him is that he did everything wrong and Pauly did mostly everything right mm-hmm. in being a gangster. And he is the one that gets, he was, he's like dirty. He's on yeah. drugs. He did, I mean, he did everything right. because he in the beginning, he, his, he broke rat, the two rules. He did it, all of it, right? He broke, yeah. he broke everything and he, 
gets away with this life, but the message might be, but are you getting away with it? Because if Polly and Jimmy end up in prison, like we saw, yeah. prison isn't really prison for them. Oh, that's a great point. Right? They're prison. They're, they're still living that life. Yeah. Even though they, in, in that ending monologue of him saying like, we had all these things like in excess. Here's here's what we could do and like get away with. Yeah. And they did kind of a zoom in on Jimmy of just kind of talking to his lawyer, but not seeming really stressed. Yeah. Then I just thought, oh, like the tables have flipped, even though you're like, I got to save my life and not get nicked. Like, so I got to go in this witness protection program. But is that a lot worse yeah. than, than, than being a good friend and shutting your mouth and doing what you were told when you were little and now Jimmy and, and Polly, yeah, they're going to go to prison and get 25 years, but is it really prison even still for them? And Polly died of like heart you know, Failure. illness. So he right. clearly didn't get killed in prison. Like right. he still lived his life most likely. And that was smart of them to not show their prison life again. Cause it, it slipped to me. And I love that point that who's in prison. Mm-hmm. Cause he's living that suburb garbage. Exactly. So him. it's like, it's like in a sense, you know, he, that character failed. Yeah. In, I like that so a lot. Many, in so many ways, even though he, yeah, at the, you get desperate when you're on drugs and you make yeah. bad moves and like, man, is that even that smile to the camera at the end? I'm like, he's doing that, but it's funny that they show uh, what's his nuts to sh- yeah, Pesci, shooting. right? Yeah, yeah, like with the gun that you're like, yeah, he's he's in his own. He's dead in his hell. own way. Yeah, and that that last shot of the flash of Pesci like killing him, like he's dead in his own way. His own his own hell is that, and I I really do like that. It's a it's a cautionary tale of even getting everything you want. Yeah, because when you lose everything you want or if you've known such like the last monologue is about just like what's life now. Right. Yeah. And you just like we're not really confronted with that a yeah. lot to have to look at that uh, of like, well, what's our ideal like prison if we didn't see it coming for right. us without being in prison? Um, and I mean, it's really it's mapped out so beautifully in this film. I, and I just, uh, from a technical standpoint, um, the lighting was amazing. Yeah. Uh, we talked about the music a fair amount because it was super impressive. Mm-hmm. The editing was insane. Uh, like, there were so many edits. There was only one edit I didn't like in the entire movie, and I was looking for edits because of how much the first 20 minutes I was like, the editing. And I didn't love the edit when he had that overlap uh, about him being paranoid for the first time just because it felt like it was another day when he was looking at him after he had just talked to the wig guy and there was like this disorientating uh, shot. And uh-huh. I don't know if that was intentional to add to the paranoia, but it did like feel like it was disconcerting in a way that I was like, was that intentional? But I was looking for edits in the whole rest of the movie. I was like, every single edit is intentional yep. and serving the narrative. And I loved the pacing because of the cinematography, those long lock off shots or the walk and talks yeah. or those pans. Like there were so many filmmaking techniques Scorsese, Scorsese, but like to see them in this movie was so special. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. That one Co- Copacabana shot, and oh. that one, that is so gorgeous. In the beginning of the film, it's obviously a lot brighter. There's more like neon colors. Even in that very first time when we see Joe Pesci kill that character, he comes back to the bar and it's all like, a ta- it's like all tiki and it has some neon in the background behind the window. There's some yeah. neon being built in. That like in the beginning of the film, even like her house when she first had it. And I realized years had passed and the style might now be you have all this black stuff in your home and it's sure. like black and red. But it really it sets a tone. A in the beginning, dark. it was not. Yeah. She was not. It was it was brighter. It was more fun. It was like filled with a lot of balloons and birthday parties and life is still good. And lighting. It was like and windows were open and that, it felt like a home. Right. Yes. And and brighter colors, more colorful. And then, at, you know, as we went through the movie, I mean, it was just when we both made comments on it of just dark and ominous and yeah, light coming in. But it was still even just darker. I think the the last the very last shot when he's talking to Jimmy that was the only kind of like light we got that it was in the daytime that I felt like it was daylight for the like last part of the movie. The rest of it I felt like was pumped with a little bit more of that darker lighting just mm-hmm. to set us up 
for like what's to come, which is not going to be great. The lighting is, is one of the more impressive elements because it set so much like ominous tone that even brightness felt like paranoia. Yeah. And, and then as we descended, I really enjoyed that the laughter became more like a negative. Like in the beginning, the laughter is joy, the joy being yeah. a gangster. And then about the second act, it becomes like Maniacal. harsh. And then the third act, it's almost like dogs barking or, or like mm-hmm. in like a, like a hyena. And not, it was no shift. It was no like sound design. Like I think a lesser director would have like distorted it or done like fish eye. Like there was nothing that changed. It was what the laughing represented. Like we felt that we it was different. We felt it. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't being like you had said uh, when we were watching it, it didn't feel like a tonal shift at all that they were forcing upon us. It's just, I think with the cinematic moves they're making with the camera that we're already and the lighting mm-hmm. that it brings the audience into a tonal shift that you don't have to do it with performance or dialogue or exposition. And they did do that. It was just they're living their life and this is what has transpired. I'm so glad I didn't know the ending, which is uh, what a gift in 2023 yeah. to not know that he was yeah. a rat. True. And also, I love that the movie trusted the audience that like you could jump. I, I'm glad I didn't see any pieces because if I jumped in and gotten anything out of context, it might have been inferred. But the movie trusted you to like go on this journey that it was able to like pause and take a second and then speed through and then pause and take a second. Cause I think if you watch this movie in pieces, like I think today they might make this a mini series and it mm-hmm. wouldn't serve itself as well. Like it, right. it, I think it needs to be exhausting. I think it needs oh, to be like, to. I'm so achy and tired right now mm-hmm. because of the journey we went on. And I feel yeah. like this might've been like, you know, an episode would be that one day and another thing would be like him, him enjoying crime. And I really love this two and a half hour experience. Yeah. It's like the only good, uh, like, comparison to it would be like Sopranos is a brilliant episodic Mm. that I'm like, sure, it's a little bit like this, but you would have to do it as well. You'd have to go so slow and steady and set a foundation while also having the best actors play like in it so that the second it it turns on, you're like, I believe them. I'm back and engaged. I haven't left. And that's hard. So slow to like pull. It's so hard, which is why Sopranos is just so brilliant. I forget how many episodes that was, but they, they, they went slow and steady and they also chose very good casting for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, As well as this movie, obviously brilliant that they would have to really like lengthen this out. And I, and now that the movie is what the movie is, like you said, in college, every poster, yeah, it's right? like, we know it's coming. Right. So like why, you know, a we li- know it's a classic they, already. Yeah. I, so it would be, I think to, for it to not be exhausting. Yeah. Be, um, doing this a disservice. I, I honestly, I, so I'm admittedly a bad early, uh, eighties and seventies film connoisseur. I'm very like, I, I'm, I've got a blind spot for this era and I definitely want to investigate more Scorsese. Uh, like I've never seen taxi driver. Uh, I've never seen, um, there's, I, I don't think I've seen Cape fear. Uh, I don't there's think like I've a, seen Cape fear either. There's like a ton of classic, like, Taxi driver is like, hey, I'm walking here, right? I think that's Hoffman. Oh my God. Like, so, yeah, exhibit A. You guys, we don't, uh, I don't know. Taxi I mean, driver, you I think, guys know that I don't know. He's but in the like, Mohawk, right? He's got like, you're talking to me. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I went in like, because like, of neighbors. He's walking across though. the street in the, the taxi and he's like, hey, I'm walking. I think walking. Hoffman says I'm walking here, though. I don't know if that, I don't think that's De Niro at all. I think that's probably not. Comments right now. This is how we get you guys to comment to go, okay, this is what they should watch now. Yes. Because, uh, I definitely started my, like when I became aware of movies is when I like kind of started from, I didn't go back a lot. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, this is my call to action. What Scorsese pre departed? Cause the departed is like my favorite Scorsese, which everyone hates for me to say, but like it's a Boston movie. Yeah. So like this was incredible, but I want to discover more of what makes Scorsese Scorsese. So uh, please leave a comment because it's uh, the high likelihood we haven't seen it as yeah. per uh, that. As, I think what, I, as what just happened right now. <laughs> absolutely. 98% sure that was often, but I could yeah. be wrong. No, could he's, wrong. he's probably right. I just you guys know I'm wrong of neighbors, a Which also makes me probably a bad cinema person because I'm quoting a Dave Franco being De Niro to know that it's De Niro. This guy. This guy. Look at so this leave guy. a comment. Yeah. Let us know. Uh, please share this. Please Please hit that notification bell. Please do all the YouTube things so we can yes. keep making more of these because this was an absolute blast. Great doing a video with you. We did it. This it was, was so fun. This was great. We love you guys. Tell us tell us you love us too. You we know need what I mean? Validation. Come on. The thumb only does so much. Right. We it. love you. Let us know. Yeah. Much love, Reject Nation. We'll see you soon. Bye.